And I want to go to Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. He's now giving an update on the conditions and the preparations there. Let's listen to the governor. I mean, the last eight hours, the models are nudging the center of the storm a little bit east. And that's significant when you're talking about Tallahassee because I think yesterday we were looking at an eye wall that was probably just on the western part of the city. When the storms hit, the, the northeast part of the storm is usually the most damaging. And so to the extent it is uh, tracking east and mirroring more of an Idalia track rather than a direct hit on Tallahassee, that is going to impact the extent of the damage. Uh, this area has not had a major hurricane hit in, in quite some time, and certainly nobody in, in recent memory has seen a storm of this magnitude that has hit. Uh, so we'll watch that. Uh, there's no guarantee that it's going to continue on that trend, but we have seen that slight trend, and that could potentially be very impactful if you're talking another 30 or 40 miles to the east uh, versus maintaining course or even toggling a little bit west. There will be debris either way. Obviously, if it hits direct into Tallahassee with, uh, with the trees that we have here, and, and it's nice, but it will cause uh, a lot of damage. Uh, we have been, Kevin and his team have been working with uh, local governments throughout the state, but particularly throughout this region, about making sure they have their debris contracts ready to go. Uh, there's going to be a need to get debris out of the roadways. Ke uh, Kevin and his team are going to be helping. Jared and his team are going to be helping. But then also with power restoration, you want to be able to get the, the power back on. The linemen are going to have to access these power lines, and that could be more challenging in an area like Tallahassee than it would be in areas that may not be as wooded. So, so those debris, all local governments, do your debris contracts. You're going to get FEMA reimbursement for this. Fiscally constrained counties, we've stepped up at the state level and helped them in the past. Uh, but I, I think you can anticipate that there's going to be a need for some serious debris removal. So, so please take the appropriate steps. Uh, as we've said all along, this storm was never projected to make landfall in uh, on kind of the Florida Peninsula Gulf Coast, uh, whether you're talking about Sarasota, Tampa, some of those areas. But uh, because it's such a big storm, it's churning a lot of water. And so you're going to see surge all up and down the, the west coast of Florida. Uh, the water is going to rise, and, and that is going to create hazards as well. So just because you're outside the cone, and I think a lot of those parts on the west coast of Florida are probably outside the cone. That does not mean that you're not going to see significant impacts. Uh, we have overnight had 14 different tornado warnings. There's likely to be more of those uh, throughout today. Uh, warnings were issued in Palm Beach, Hendry, Glades, and Collier County. Now, parts of our state are starting to feel the effects already. Uh, certainly, if you're in North Florida, uh, you still have time to execute your plan, but you got to do it now. Uh, you have time to get to a shelter, but you got to do it now. Uh, every minute that goes by brings uh, us closer to having conditions that are going to be simply too dangerous to navigate. Uh, but if you are in the northern part of the state uh, and you have access and you're in an evacuation zone and you've been told to evacuate, you do have time to do it now, so do it. Uh, but don't wait another six hours, seven hours and say, oh, man, this thing looks big and think that you're going to want to go out. They'll, they'll, that will be very hazardous uh, to do that. Uh, with all of the uh, uh, evacuation orders, there's going to be a time, and some of that time may have been reached in southern parts of the state, where your local fisher is going to tell you it's too late to stay put. Uh, I don't think that we've reached that in northern Florida yet, uh, but wherever you are, uh, if your local EM officials say that it's that it's too hazardous to go and that you, you're better off just hunkering down, heed that advice. Uh, I know Jared's talking about uh, with the folks about the winds. We're looking at the Skyway Bridge is, is having. I don't know if they've closed it yet, but I think that was imminent. So you're starting to see this. So just listen to your local officials, depending on where you are in the state. And there will become a time in North Florida as the hours pass today where they may tell you, stay put. Uh, but but don't put yourself at risk. We have fatalities on the roadways in hazardous conditions almost every storm, and, and those can be avoidable, avoided with, with proper planning.